Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to do a few things around the base, and then we're probably going to go ahead and start this next Tier 5 quest. Um, I wanted to... I wanted this to be a full base building episode and continue working on our garage, but um, I don't have enough concrete. Uh, I am working on concrete, so this guy's making um, 77. Yeah, 77 blocks. And I went out and got a bunch of stone off camera, so we're still in the process of making stone dust in both of these mortar and pestles. And uh, these guys are in the process of making cement, uh, so it is underway, but I don't have enough. Uh, to do so let's go ahead and, and do another uh, tier five uh, for this episode well it's actually gonna probably take a couple episodes because they take a while and then uh, by the time we're finished doing that we should have enough to continue uh, resume our build but there are a couple things I want to do first of all uh, we found a couple of um, beakers in uh, the last episode or the last couple episodes um, and so that those were the main things we needed to get this final station upgraded to tier three. So we need 500 research data, 20 books, 20 titanium. And actually, if I stand far enough back, I could probably reach the titanium. Yeah, so looks like we're going to need to also make some pipes, which we can do. Uh, we're in really good shape on metal at this point. If we look in here, see, you're not doing metal, right? No, you're doing cement. If we look in here, I've got uh, 253 metal plating, 450 ingots for steel, almost 1,000 iron, and uh, we are low, actually, though, now that I look at it, we're actually quite a bit low on titanium. Hmm. Um, we should, okay, yeah, we should have enough here. I, th I, I have more titanium over the horde base, which I've got to remember that I've got to repair before the next horde night. Usually I do that right after horde night, but I didn't do that this time, so hopefully I won't forget. Otherwise, we're going to have fun. <laughs> Uh, not that it's in that bad of shape. It's actually in very good shape, so we'd still be fine. Now, um, yeah, so so we should be able to... We need to make pipes. That's what we needed to do. So how many pipes in total can we make? 163. Let's make... Let's make 163. <clears throat> and the reason being is because I'm going to also need more pipes for more pipe bombs uh, for the Horde Knight. And then we could queue up, let's do, let's have, say, 200, whoops, 200 of these on hand. There we go. Okay, so while the pipes are cooking up there, let's go over here. I don't think I have any food to make at the moment. Um, it's really interesting with this water pump. It seems like it works for, I don't know, three or four cycles of 50, and then it, and then it just stops and so I have to pick it up and put it back down to get it to start working again that seems to be the th the situation with that uh, let's grab some waters and put some fire in here okay so we can make media mediocre fever, medium level food I should say um, but we can't make any of the high end stuff but we have four spaghettis five shepherd's pies four tuna fish gravy toast and one gumbo stew already made up and in the fridge so we are good to go on food for the time being let's put that back in there i'm gonna run back here and grab research data um here let's just grab it all and let's grab all the books and the nice thing about this is that oh this we, we need this to be in the selling chest not doing us any good in there um, and the nice thing about this last upgrade done is I think that's that's it. I think we have all of our crafting stations upgraded to the max level. That was the final one. Let's double check that, but I'm pretty sure that's the situation that we're in. Let's throw that stuff in there for selling. Um, so if we go here, yeah, there's no upgrade option there. I don't think this upgrades at all. Nope. Uh, we're going to upgrade that. Mechanics table doesn't have an upgrade option. Workbench doesn't have an upgrade option. Artisan's table, that's already a tier 3. These are tier 3, and we're this is a tier 2, but we're keeping it for extra work. So, yeah, I think we're in good shape. Well, you know what? We didn't look in here. Um, that's already tier 3. Yeah, so I think, I think that's it for... 
Uh, Taylor Station doesn't do an upgrade ballistics. Oh, oh, never mind. Okay, so we need to upgrade the ballistics table as well. I don't have a workbench in here. Okay, ballistics table. Interesting. Well, I want to get the science station or the chem bench rather upgraded first. Um, so now if we go here, oh, right, it doesn't pull pipes out of here. We gotta manually do that. Get right there. Okay, here we go. Finally, man, it's been a long wait on getting all the stuff we need to upgrade. Workstation not empty. Why does that matter? I don't, rem I don't remember that mattering before. Looks like it's going to be the same footprint. Boom. There we go. We now have a tier three chemistry station, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yes. There was one thing in particular that we couldn't make in here. Ah, oh, it was the oil poison antidote. I think. Was it? Oh, I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, incidentally, one of you guys mentioned to me in the comments that you didn't think I needed a poison antidote to make the blueprint for a poison antidote. And you are correct. Uh, how much? So we have 339 research data. Um, there's a lot of things that I've been kind of sitting on, um, you know, like steroids, for example, and hot chili dogs that, you know, I wanted to wait until we got all of our research stations upgraded first. But now, you know, we should probably, we should probably focus on the antidote because it's kind of important. Um, so yeah, this is what we need and we have enough books and research data. The rest of this stuff is easy peasy lemon squeezy. So let's go ahead and research that, and then we can make our own poison antidotes. Because if those scorps hit you, especially because I don't have the the perks for you know poison resistance, I, I'm almost guaranteed to get poisoned every time. So uh, see, we needed some of this, we needed some of this, and there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and research this. Whoop. Goldenrod and yucca. Goldenrod and yucca. I did harvest the garden. And I just happen to have some extra yucca in there. <clears throat> because we've got a lot of it. Okay, let's try this again. All right, research. So in one minute, we will have the knowledge to make poison antidotes. And then the scorpions can piss off because it won't matter after that. They can poison us all they want, and we'll just fix it as we kill them. Um, no, I don't want that in there. I'm just keeping it in there. Well, you know what we could do? Let's make some yucca juice with this extra stuff. Why not? Let's do it. Uh, we're going to need... Do we need empty jars or jars of water? I can't remember. Yucca juice, yucca juice. Empty jars. Hmm. We should learn yucca smoothie. What does that take? We're going to have to grab a, a smoothie out of a vending machine and hang on to it. Plus, we don't quite have enough research data for that right now. So, Okay, so yeah, we'll just make normal yucca juice for now. Yucca smoothies are really awesome drinks. Uh, jars. We need jars. Can, we can't make yucca with the plastic thingies in this game, can we? Or mod, I should say. No. All right, let's just make... Is yucca used for anything else, recipe-wise? Well, besides the antidote. Oh, it looks like it's used for the actual antidote. Oh, okay, in that case... In that case, let's not burn it, burn it up yet. Is this done? It is indeed. Now we can make antidotes. Let's go see what we need to do that. Grain alcohol. And pretty much all the same stuff that we used to make the, the blueprint itself. Okay, so grain alcohol is cornmeal and murky. 
We've got a ton of cornmeal. We've got a ton of murky water. So why don't we make 50 grain alcohols? Because we also need those for large medikits and a couple other things too. And we need... This actually goes in here. Oh, 38. Okay, 38 is good enough. We don't have the necessary resources to craft this. Fine. Put that back in there. We'll hold off on making more yucca juice until I make the quantity of antidotes that I that I want to make. Let's put the rest of this research data back in here for now. And we will be picking up more of that, of course, as we go along. And we'll put the books in there, too. We want this other stuff to go back over in here. A place for everything, everything in its place. So that goes in there, that goes... No. Well, actually, yeah, let's keep that in there because we're going to use it for medicinal reasons. I made a bunch more of these. Uh, and I made... Uh, so first, about 30-ish or so first aid kits, the large ones, and I have half in here and half on the toolbar. <laughs> we have an extra antidote in there, too. Okay, I think we're, we're doing good. We are doing good. Let's go ahead and put the pipes in here. No, pipes don't go in there. Pipes go in parts. And that is still cooking up, so we'll let that continue doing its thing. Let's see, what are you doing? You're not doing anything. You should have cement made. Let's grab whatever we have ready out of here for the stone dust. And we'll make another batch of concrete mix. You're probably finished right now with the flooring. So that gives us up to 83 plus whatever more we can make from this next batch of concrete. Excuse me. Okay, so I think we've done everything I wanted to do here in the base. Let's take a look at what this upgrade requires just so we kind of know. Okay, so we're going to need 400 research data. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. All of this is easy peasy lemon squeezy. So we're really just waiting on research data there's nothing here that's going to be difficult for us to obtain and then we can get that upgraded uh to tier two and then i don't know if it goes up to tier three or not i guess we'll figure that out once the time comes all right ladies and gentlemen we're going back to do another tier five quest with the first one we did if you didn't catch the last three episodes in a row was crack a book and in terms of books itself it was absolutely pathetic um in terms of, you know, the books and research data that we got of the place, there were 500,000 zombies in the place. <laughs> and the loot sucked. <laughs> but that's the way this game goes now. All right, enough said about that. Let's see, what are we going to do? We're going to... Um, we don't need these tools for questing. So we're going to leave those behind. That'll free us up some slots and some weight. Um... We're going to need more ammunition. So let's get tanked up on that. I happen to have... Do we... I, I keep saying this. Do we have a 50 cal weapon? I don't think we do. When we come across one of those, even if it's a cheap-ass one, we might want to buy it. Well, when I say cheap, I mean the, a low level. Because we can always upgrade it. And that is another thing I want to start doing. I think I may have already mentioned this to you guys, but um, it's been a very, very long time, even here in the Wasteland, since I've come across a quality weapon or tool. So I think we're going to have to start um, <clears throat> upgrading what we have and, and doing it that way. It seems to me like that's what Subquake wants us to do is upgrade. Um, so if that's the way it works, that's the way it works. But, you know, we're, our weapons are good, but they're not as, as good as they can be. And, you know, we're in the in, in game. We have been for forever <laughs> in the wasteland on insane difficulty, nightmare speed, all that stuff. And we really need to up our game a little bit more in terms of weapon quality and, and tool quality, too, for that matter. So anyway, just things that we uh, I am still planning on doing as time goes on. 
Now, let's um let's get make sure we have plenty of ammo for this tier five. So is that all I have here? Let's grab the those extra pipe bombs. We must have really spent some 7.62s on the Zombos. Let's grab all the shotties. We don't need a ton of uh, of these. We don't need a ton of the crossbow bolts because I usually just use those for stealth shots. Um, so we might we need to make some more 7.62s. That's just all there is to it. Let's make some more 7.62s. Hollow point. Nah. Not, never really been a big fan of hollow points in this game. Just because so many of the tough enemies are armored that uh yeah just don't like it um okay 877 let's make a batch of 500 another stack of these all right that's gonna take 60 minutes i don't i'm not gonna wait 16 minutes though i just want to have some available to us when we get back um the thing is though maybe we might want to go ahead and take a backup assault rifle I think we will this time, <clears throat> just because, you know, it's it's possible that 820 rounds of 7.62 are not enough. <laughs> so let's also bring 1,000 rounds of 5.56 and the FAR. That should get us in good stead for ammunition. Everything seems to be in good repair. I repaired my armor as well, so we're in perfect condition there. That's another thing, you know, our armor could stand to be upgraded a little bit more too. Um, so now let's look at drugs and food and meds. I think we're in pretty good shape here. You know what? Why don't we take a stack of 20 of these? Um, we're good on the little guys. We got, let's take a few more painkillers, a couple more of those maybe. Uh, we got antibiotics, we got vitamins, we got steroids. Grab a couple more of those. Um, let's grab a half a stack of Fort Bites. Um, maybe, yeah, you know, I need to remember to pop those. The learning elixir right before we get into a big fight. Because that's going to make us a little stronger. With our weapons. This is our highest healing food. 61. Yeah, so let's take all of this spaghetti. And what's our second highest healing foods? Probably shepherd's pie would be my guess. That's 52. The gumbo stew is a little higher. Oh my goodness. Sham chowder is actually the highest healing food. Never noticed that before. Okay. Well, we already have the best healing food. Then let's leave the spaghetti here. How are we doing on food? Uh, we, we could stand to eat a taco. Let's have a taco. Yeah, okay. Man, I didn't realize that. This stuff is really... I, I mean, it's already really good. But, uh... It, it appears to have the highest health uh, out of all the foods. Let me... Let me double check that. So, select this. Yeah, that's less health. Less health, less health, less health. So, for pure f healing... You know, not food and the other stuff, but for healing, this is this is the top dog there. All right, cool. Do I have any chamois chowders in here? Uh, no, up here. No. You know what we could do though? Let's run downstairs really quick and check the vending machine because I wouldn't mind making a few more of those. No chamois, but we will buy this other stuff. Yeah, one of those. Those. Don't care about chicken. Yeah, we'll get a rockbusters. We want beef rations. How are we doing on these? Eh, I think we're okay on those. We'll get the health bar. Um, I'm pretty sure I have some hackers, but let's just grab those two. We don't need any of the rest of that stuff. Whoa. Just about walked off the stairs. Um, okay, so what else? Do we need to do to prepare, or are we as prepared as we can be? Oh, candies, right. We want to bring... Uh, let's grab a couple of eye candies, maybe some oh shits, and maybe some atom junkies. None of the rest of this stuff's really... Well, we could, I guess we could do skull crushers too. Grab a couple of those. Okay, so we got ammo, we got meds, we're fully prepared. 
I think we're good to go. What do you think, Roberta? All systems go. How See? may I help? She agrees. All systems are go. Hey, do you have anything in your inventory? Uh, nope, you're good to go. Okay. So, we are going to do this quest here. Um, clear area and re... Uh, oh, Poppin' Pills Factory, right. This is new. Uh, it's new to me. I, I believe it was probably added in Alpha 20. But I've never done it. So, should be exciting. Should be dangerous as AF. As AF? No. AF. Dangerous AF. That's what, that's what I was trying to say. Um, we will take the dune buggy, which is parked down below, so let's do this. This is a clear and retrieve. Hmm. Have I been in here before? Maybe we have. This does kind of look familiar. Maybe we have been in here. If we did, we didn't loot that. There's uh, some ammo in there. Well, no, let's not double loot. Let's just go. I, I don't remember. Maybe I have been in here. Maybe I haven't. Nevertheless, we are going to go in here now. Can we reach that from here? No. All right, Roberta, you ready for this party? Um, let's go look in this guard shed here. How about we make sure everybody's loaded too? That's a good idea. It's a swell idea. Okay. Nobody in there. There are three charges in there. Um, we're going to do this then. We're going to drink two of these. Two for the price of three. No, three for the price of two. You guys know what I meant. Here we go. Look at that sneaky filing cabinet with two books. We like books. We like books. Um... Before, yeah, before we actually go in, let's just run around the outside here. Are you a wandering horde or just a couple of zeeps on the street? My picked up something. Okay. Steel rebar. A locked car. There we go. A little more this way. Okay. I'm not going to take up space with those two things, but uh, we'll grab the shovel and the other thing. Walk around this way. Don't care about that stuff. We'll take that. That's an interesting design there, a little ramp. And we have a guardhouse here. Three more charges. Anything behind here? Um, well, it doesn't make sense for us to drink three to get three. But if I remember, which I probably won't, don't bet your bank account on it. Uh, we'll come back here once we have some empty jars and grab those three. Okay, so I think we're finished looting the outside. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's do this. We're probably going to get a huge rush of Zikaruskis from this first room. Um... You go into quiet mode. Shh. Don't make any noise, Rupert. All right. Here we go. Look at the red dots. I mean, that's not 
anywhere close to the number of red dots we had <laughs> when we first started the crack book. It's still plenty, but not as many as we had at first. So some of them, I'm sure, are above us up on the balconies. There's probably a couple behind the thingy here. Be nice if we could get a sneaky sneak off on at least one of them. They do a very good job of hiding the zombies. There's one right there. All right. I'm not even going to bother trying to be stealthy because it just doesn't work. That's all. Whoop. Don't get caught there. Funnel them all through here. Roberta, you're in the line of fire. Quite literally in the line of fire. I hear footsteps. Just one. All right. That went uh, quite a bit better than it did at the bookstore. Uh, but we got an abrasion for our trouble and a sprain. It's only five minutes. Is it arm or... Come on, like, Is it arm or leg? It's leg. Okay, you know what? We're not screwing around with that. Let's just take one of these. All right, first room clear. You're reloaded. Club's book and some paper. This might be worth trying to go stealthy stealth. Nope, it woke the other guy up. Alright. Down with you. No, I said down with you. Down with you? There you go. There you go. Nothing really phantasmagorical there. We will go up the stairs in a minute. Let's go back into these rooms. Oh, shit! That was unexpected. I'm surprised those zombos didn't come with the first batch. Where are you at? Let's pop a... We don't have any new criticals, so we're in pretty good shape. Let's just take a normal bandage. Keep that health topped off. Okay. We just have one zombadoodle here. Wait, where are you? Oh, you're right there, dummy. Okay. Oh, they all popped out of here. Sneaky. Oh, shit. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Nope, don't want any of that shit. Modified table leg. Um, all right, I guess we'll take that. Do I want any more of these? I don't remember. Let's just grab them. 
I don't, I've, we're fine on the weapon rack. I don't think we need another weapon rack, but let's grab the ammo racks. That's locked. There's a screamer outside. That's never a good thing. Uh, this way. There we go. There's some research data for us. That water cooler doesn't have anything. All right. I think we go up now. So we have two minutes left on our sprain. Um, why don't we take a chamois just to top our health up and our food? Okay, let's go. These guys are just nonstop. I think this was a tier five or something. <laughs> 